Hi, good morning, everyone. Our project is igniting community health collaboratives. We're joining hospitals and public health with community organizations so that we can uh, improve community health in Pennsylvania. I want to begin by telling you about Joe, who lives in Philly. That's Philadelphia. Joe has high blood pressure. He represents one out of every two Philadelphians who have uncontrolled blood pressure. And that can lead to an early death. How do we get ahead of this problem before he ends up with hospital care? Let's talk about the things that keep Joe healthy that are not in the hospital. Only 20% of Joe's health is influenced by clinical care, but 80% is influenced by things like education, a job, safe neighborhood, and healthy food. Health is not just about hospitals, improving the care they give inside the building, but outside too, at the community level where Joe lives. This approach to health care requires many partners, hospitals, community organizations, public health, business, and consumers like Joe. Our project targets one health care transformation element the Affordable Care Act requires nonprofit hospitals to create community health plans. And these plans are an important first step in getting ready for payment reform. Here's the problem. Hospitals working alone will not be able to deliver big results on improving community health, and they may not be ready for payment reforms coming, which won't pay for service, but will pay for results. We talked to folks in Pennsylvania and throughout the United States and learned that the leaders doing this work think that there will be better results with less money invested when working together on one common community health plan. They talked about seeing the light and having hope for bigger health results even though there's not much data on this yet. They also talked about nonprofit hospitals being cash strapped and being required to develop these community plans before payment reforms are there yet. There are more barriers. Competition can be very intense between hospitals as they're competing for patients. More leadership is required from hospitals to get folks around a common health plan. And clearly hospitals do not feel um, uh, that the risk, the return on investment, may be worth investing more in community health right now. Talking with programs from California to Massachusetts about their collaboratives, we learned our job in Pennsylvania is even thornier. We have multiple hospitals competing, and they don't have a lot of trust to work with each other. So while it is difficult, it is possible to get folks to work together on community health plans. We found seven nonprofit hospital systems and one for-profit willing to commit funds and sign a memorandum of understanding to work together on one community health plan. We are providing technical assistance and strategic support to the project to develop a process to work together, share information, and choose a focus for Greater Philadelphia. In the next few months, they'll create a plan, implement it, and soon evaluate. Throughout, they'll engage with customers, including Joe. There are three health priorities in Philadelphia, and one of them is preventing heart disease. They could ch choose in southeastern Pennsylvania to focus on decreasing obesity and improving physical activity. They could create projects that work across media markets, that work with transportation or get better food access, and maybe community health workers in Joe's neighborhood. We plan to measure the outcome of the collaboration and to take this partnership to the rest of the state. We're asking for technical assistance to evaluate the collaborative and refine our business model. Our project is Igniting Community Health Collaborations, and we'd like to thank Ignite and our team members. Thank you.